Thank you so much for all of your work and assistance with our stakeholders in York County. Um, it was great to have you in York for a walking tour with the York County Economic Alliance mm -hmm. and Downtown Inc. along with other stakeholders. And I really appreciate your hands-on approach. Um, you know, I've heard it today. You've been so many places across the Commonwealth. I want to talk to you a little bit about tax credits and clawbacks. And I know that in the House Appropriations Committee, you heard a lot about the lack of oversight when it comes to tax credits. Um, we talked a lot about House uh, tax credits here today as well. And as the chair of the Senate Communications and Technology Committee, one of my top priorities has been identifying a solution as to how we close our state's digital divide. You talked about those devices. You can be anywhere. You can, as long as you can access high-speed internet, right? This is a bipartisan, bicameral issue. Um, I have a dear friend in the House, uh, the gentlelady from Green County, and she and I, uh, when we embarked on this uh, adventure, we were told that we were embarking on a fool's errand to try and close Pennsylvania's digital divide. Not at all. Um, however, the more I read about the programs that have been on the books over the last two decades and how much money has been potentially squandered, um, I'm really concerned and I'm beginning to understand why they told us that we were on a fool's errand. Um, I, I would say that the General Assembly is well intentioned in what it passes, but what we so often lack is oversight. And I say all of this because just last week a Spotlight PA article highlighted a tax credit program that showed glaring holes in state tax credit programs and how companies can be awarded major tax credits with a worthy purpose, um, as in this case, improving access to high-speed internet in unserved and underserved areas. But through the investigation, those tax credits didn't help the effort. Um, Senator Hughes was quoted in that article, and he said, and I quote, tax credits are often pitched as incentives to stimulate growth through investments from businesses, but there hasn't always been a follow-up. And I will say this, um, he's right, there hasn't always been a follow-up, and we need to follow up, and that's not just on you or your department, I think it's on all of us, legislators, the administration. Um, I can tell you that uh, the Senate passed my resolution, Senate Resolution 48. It called for an in-depth investigation and audit into the compliance of non-rural telecommunication carriers with Act 67 of 1993 and Act 183 of 2004, and to report findings and recommendations to us. Um, those acts established fees that we all pay on our phone bills that were supposed to go toward deploying high-speed internet. And that investigation will be completed this summer but what I'm hearing is that those fees were used to build out cell networks in areas that were already covered. I also have a bill that looks at clawing back state grants that were misused. And that bill was introduced after it was widely reported that staffers involved in the Democratic National Convention were paid in bonuses after the convention, and they received $10 million in state grant money. And I would say this, if you can pay um, out major bonuses, you probably don't need taxpayer funding. Um, so my bill is Senate Bill 1034. It was recently introduced, and uh, we sent it over to your team recently. Um, I would really appreciate any input from you and your team with regard to that legislation. In, in general, about both uh, tax credits and, and grants, um, people understand that taxpayer dollars are used for public good, but the public trust is broken in the system when there are stories uh, that come out about wasted taxpayer-funded projects and initiatives. Um, we talked about these numbers, and you really couldn't quantify it for us. Fifteen cents comes back on every dollar spent in tax credits to the Commonwealth, right? We have to be mindful. We're investing taxpayer dollars. We have to fund what works. And that doesn't sound like a good investment to me. It sounds like a really bad rate of return on investment. I have a son who's a finance major at Drexel. He'd probably fail a class if he said, you know, this is a program I'm going to create and this is what it's going to bring back to us. So I, I would say to you, how do we draw increased scrutiny on both grants and tax credits? And when we find out that those grants and tax credits were not needed or were misused or didn't you know, bring a, a good rate of return back to the Commonwealth. What recourse do we have? How do we address this? If we're not quantifying it well, how do we better quantify it? Because 
I think we, we're breaking the public trust. I, I think that that's exactly what, what we need to do in, in terms of how do we quantify it. And it's, sometimes it's not as easy to quantify as you think. Uh, and again, I always, I always point back to the film tax credit. You know, uh, in terms of the, the reports that have been done on that, uh, returning back 12 cents, 13 cents on, on the dollar. Uh, but maybe those reports don't take into consideration everything that, that, that should be involved in what that return is. You know, and, and what it means to a number of different uh, constituents that are affected by that particular film, television series, documentary, uh, things like that. And, and that's where I think we need to all try to do a better job of quantifying what that is. Um, you know, and I think uh, from the perspective of the, um, the, uh, uh, some of the tax credit programs, you know, it's, uh, it, it is, it is, it's difficult to figure out exactly what that return is. And we, we work really hard to do that. And, and we have the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Education Improvement Tax Credit that has been increased, you know, uh, uh, dramat dramatically, I think, over the course of the past, you know, few years. And, um, you know, we put everything we can and, and, and try to get as many uh, uh, or try to do as much as we can to keep up with the demand of, of things like that because it's increased. I don't want to come back to you and ask for additional staffing, you know, to, to do that. I want to utilize what we have. Uh, but that's a tremendous uh, uh, effort on our staff to be able to do that and to be able to keep up with the increases in tax credit programs like that. And we want to, we want to, we want to be able to continue to do that and provide top quality, great service. I think my staff does a great job of doing that, uh, we're at the point now where, where um, you know, we are, uh, we're maxed out in terms of, you know, the staff that we have and what we can do. Uh, that being said, well, and I, I and I, I understand that, but we have to fund what works. We have a situation no doubt, right. where our human services and health spending has eclipsed education, um, where we have had, the, the administration has overspent, they're coming back with a huge supplemental that we have to address. Uh, we're having to make really difficult decisions on a, a lot of programs that needy and vulnerable people have, and we have tax credits and grants that aren't being used appropriately and that you know we're being promised a great rate of return and we're not seeing that so it begs the question um, you know when we have to make difficult decisions um, how can we continue to fund these things there's there's no doubt and I think you you really have to look at each individual tax credit program indiv individually that's what we do we look at we look at those because there 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 are strengths and weaknesses of all the tax credit programs that we're trying to present to you what we think works. And a lot of the tax credit programs that are coming to us right now, we're doing everything we can to make them work. If there are, there are tweaks that we need to make, uh, we're gonna come to you and suggest some of, the, some of the tweaks that need to be made. If there are things that we need to do a, a little bit differently and put more staff on to some of these tax credit programs, we're gonna, we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna try to make uh, these tax credit programs that, 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 that we have available to us right now work for all of Pennsylvania. Um, and in some cases, we're going to probably make some suggestions of things we think don't work and things we think do work. Well, I think, I think we need to work on that together. We need to increase Absolutely. our oversight, increase our scrutiny, and, you know, stop putting money into things that don't work in the Commonwealth. Absolutely.